Writing is a very social, solitary pursuit. When you write, you do so alone. As Mark Lawrence said, writing is a fairly lonely business, unless you invite people in to watch you do it, which is often distracting and then you have to ask them to leave. When you write, you have to be willing to shun the human race and to spend hours alone. However, there is also a very social aspect to writing. I find that whenever I meet someone who is also a writer, we instantly become friends because we have so much in common. This week, I had the great opportunity of meeting a bunch of such friends. I got to go to the Teen Writers Conference in Ogden, Utah, and hang out with a huge group of fellow writers. I asked a few of them to tell me a bit about their current project. My name is Amanda Breck. I've been writing for four years, and my current project is called The King's Arena, and it's like this epic card game turned into real life. Well, I'm Jaren Fisk. I every now and then go by Shadow Quill. I've been writing for probably about two, three years at the most. Uh, my story is called Taken by Griffin. It's about a kid who's had a really good day. He goes out for a walk and runs into something without knowing what it was because he was lost in a daydream and wakes up to find he's in some otherworldly place. My name is Elise Evans. This is my fifth year writing. And my current project is a science fiction a conspiracy about the Mayan civilization. I am with Madison Sanders. My pen name is Addison Mason Jason. I've been writing since I was about five. And my current story, it's fiction. It's about a girl who is person who brings peace and prosperity to the world. And she's not supposed to fall in love, but she does. I'm Robin Purdy. I have been writing for about four years. My current book that I'm writing is um, about fairies and another world outside of this. I'm Julie Belknap. I have been writing for about four years. And my current project is an urban fantasy where a girl gets turned into a bird and has to figure out a way to get back. My name's Samantha Larkin and my pen name's Coriantha and Caspia. And I have been writing oh, since forever, since like fourth grade. I've always loved it. And right now I am writing a book that is, I guess you could just say it's fiction, it's magic and stuff. My name's Tanner Flinders. I've been writing for about six years. And currently I'm working on my sixth book. It's the first in a new series and it's kind of cool. It's a fantasy book and I'm really enjoying it. And it's kind of complex but pretty fun. Yeah. It was so great to see the enthusiasm of these fellow aspiring authors. That's the best part of writers' conferences, sharing enthusiasm. I also had the awesome experience of getting to meet some published authors. I asked them to share with me the piece of advice they think is most important for teen writers. My main point of advice for teen writers is to look for opportunities to grow and to write different things. If you can write a family newsletter, if you can write Christmas cards, if you can write in your journal, if you can do school assignments, if you can report for a local paper, do it. Every opportunity that you have to write is just going to expand your vision and open up your opportunities into the writing world of adulthood. The best piece of advice I have for you is to make sure you finish a book. So don't rewrite, write. Specifically for teen writers, I think it's important to balance writing with actually having experiences in your life that are worth writing about meeting people and understanding other people so that you have that insight to write something that's really worth reading. Keep Hi, writing. Um, don't let people tell you you can't do it. Don't let people tell you that you're no, not good enough, no, not smart no, enough, so not whatever just enough, because there's so many voices stumble. like that. And sometimes those voices are yours. Sometimes you're the one that's saying that to yourself, where you're sitting there going, I can't do this, I, I suck, this is crap, this is terrible, I'm, I'm a loser, I can't handle this, and you'll be wrong to tell yourself those things. So believe in what you can do, because you can achieve anything. You can achieve great things if you want to, and don't let people tell you you can't. And keep reading, because reading is where you get your best research. Even a stupid book can teach you a lot. You can learn a lot from stupid things. So, <laughs> that's my best advice. It was beyond awesome to get to hang out with these guys. They were just so real and so nice. And can I just tell you, Julie Wright is like my favorite person ever. Do some research to see if there are any writing conferences in your area, and be sure to check them out. They are definitely worth it. Today's novel idea was recommended by Elena Johnson at the conference. She said that what she loves in reading is good verbs, and so my prompt today is twofold. First, while you're reading, write down some of your favorite verbs that you find. And second, next time you write, try and use five new verbs. Thanks for watching, and happy writing. <laughs> Hi, Mom! I miss you! Oh, no, wait, I'm just kidding. <laughs>